So you're hoping that the Eagles offense is going to add weapons this draft. Well, guess what? Philly 500 is going to show you how it's going to get done. Welcome to my mock draft 2.0. Yo, the cowboy, Mr. McLean. You Americans are all alike. But this time, John Wayne doesn't walk into the sunset with Grace Kelly. Scary Cooper, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Trails, Hans. Dallas still stinks. Everybody doing? King Dingbat here. I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. You know, I am excited about this draft. I am super excited about this draft. I can't stop doing mock drafts, reading mock drafts, looking at mock drafts. It's it's fascinating. It's going to be really really fun to see what the Eagles did now. I did one maybe like a month, month and a half ago. I did a, a mock draft, my mock draft 1.0. And in that draft, I had the Eagles trading up to get Henry Ruggs. Now, I did that because that's what I believe on draft night is going to occur. That is what I feel will happen. I believe the Eagles are trading up. I believe that they're trading up. And at worst, they're trading back. And those are my top two options that I expect for the Eagles. So... The first draft I did, I did uh, a trade-up. In this draft, I am going to do what could happen if the Eagles trade back. Okay, that's what I'm going to do in this draft. I really believe the Eagles can't afford to stay at 21. I, 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 I just don't. I just, I just can't believe it, okay? So, I went ahead. I did this draft. Um, trading back and I'm going to present it to you guys now let me know what you guys think and then tomorrow um, on Tuesday I'm going to do a live stream we could talk about it you guys could come give me your opinion um, we'll you know we'll have fun we'll hang out we'll be talking and of course we're streaming the real draft live so you want to be here for that so be sure if you haven't hit the subscribe button ring that ding bat bell and uh, that way you'll be notified when I'm live and we can talk about it um, but without further ado here's what I did with my draft. So the first thing I gotta say is I'm not trying to make this 20, 25 minutes long, this video. So I'm gonna go through these kinda quick, explain what I did. The second thing is I'm using the simulation from the draft network, okay? I'll put the link in the description. That's what I simulated this on. I let the computer control every team but the Eagles. And I gotta tell you, sometimes the computer makes some really weird gagootsy picks. So it is what it is, but I figure, hey, you never know how these things fall and how things go, so why not just go with it, okay? And then when I started this simulation, at first there was some weird picks, but then it kind of started evening out. But the one of the things that I thought was really interesting about this draft was the top four wide receivers all went in the top 20. Judy, Ruggs, and Lamb, not in that order, went between 11 and 15. At 20, the Jaguars took Justin Jefferson. So once they took Justin Jefferson, this was a perfect opportunity for me to try trading back to see what would happen. So that's what I did here. I traded the 21st pick back to the 28th pick of the Baltimore Ravens, and I got an extra fourth round pick. That's all I could get out of the computer was an extra fourth. So I traded back, took the fourth, and then with... The 28th pick in the draft, I took Denzel Mims out of Baylor. I took him. I, You know I love Denzel Mims. I think he's got maybe the most upside of any wide receiver in this draft. So I take Denzel Mims. I pick up an extra fourth round, and I'm feeling pretty good at this point, right? So the draft continues a little longer. Then we get to 34. Boom, I hit the trade button. I go ahead and I try to trade up from my second round spot to get to 34. So I trade my second round pick, I trade the Ravens fourth round pick, and the computer made me throw in another fourth um, in there. So I had to use two fourth round picks that we had, because we had four total after getting the Ravens fourth round pick, I had four, because the Eagles have three going in this draft. So I used two fourths and a second to trade up to 34. And at the 34th pick, the Philadelphia Eagles took wide receiver Brandon Ayuk. So now I'm happy. Now I'm you know I'm happy. I got I got 
both my receivers. I got Denzel Mims. I got Brandon Ayuk. This is how it's got to go. This is why trading back is my second best option. So now I have Denzel Mims. I have Brandon Ayuk. I did give up two fourth round picks, but I still have two left, okay? So now with the third, now in the third round, with my third round pick, which totally shocked me because I don't know how this player ended up falling this far, but Matt Hennessy of Temple, the center, is sitting on the board in the third round. And with my third round pick, I took Matt Hennessy. And I was I was beyond myself. I was very happy because now I got two wide receivers and my future center. I like Hennessy a lot. I actually took him in my first mock draft 1.0, which I'll put the link in the description. But I was I was feeling really, really good at this point, okay? I got three guys that I think are going to be impact players in the next few years at least. So my first pick, uh, Denzel Mims. My second pick is Brandon Ayuk. My third pick in the third round is Hennessy. Now we go with the fourth round, and I still have two fourth round picks left. I have a fifth round pick and a sixth round pick, okay? So with my first fourth round pick in the NFL draft, I take running back A.J. Dillon. I'm going to get my power back. <laughs> Another guy who I think is going to play right away for the Philadelphia Eagles. And with the fourth round pick, I take A.J. Dillon. And I am very, very happy at this point to have A.J. Dillon, Hennessy, Ayuk, and uh, Denzel Mims. So, so far in the first four rounds, I love it. I love the way this thing is falling into place. Okay, so at this point, we're down to three picks left. We have our fourth round pick, our fifth round pick, and our sixth round pick, okay? Uh, first four picks, offense, that's what I think the Eagles need to do. I think they need to go offense, heavy early, defense possibly later. And so with my last fourth round pick, because remember, we traded two of them, um, I wanted to go maybe defensive side of the ball. And there was a guy that I kind of liked, I watched a little bit of, and that is linebacker Shaquille Quarterman of Miami. He's six foot one, 240 pounds. I think he's raw. I think he could develop into a pretty good linebacker in the National Football League if he's coached right and those kind of things. So I took Shaquille Quarterman, the linebacker, with my second fourth round pick. Now, going into the fifth round, I was a little shocked to see this guy still on the board. I don't think this would happen in reality, but in these simulations, like with the Hennessy pick, sometimes guys just fall. And sitting on the board is cornerback Lamar Jackson. I had to take him, had to jump on him right away. A lot of you guys have liked him, have pointed me out to go watch videos of him, and I have, I like the kid. And if I could add him in the fifth round, I think that would be one hell of a pick. No question about it. So we get Lamar Jackson, in the fifth round, we've got a linebacker in the fourth. I expect the Eagles possibly to double dip at linebacker late in the draft. Maybe even get a two, three undrafted uh, linebacker free agents. So it'll be interesting. But um, we get a linebacker and we get a corner with our second, fourth, and our first fifth. So we're down to one pick left in this draft. And it's a six-round pick. And, you know, there's a lot of talk about the Eagles possibly taking a quarterback, somebody to develop. Now, me personally, I don't think I would do it. I would wait, especially if I trade up this year. However, just for argument's sake, I went ahead and did that. And with my sixth-round pick, I took quarterback James Morgan from Florida International, six foot four, 200. 14 pounds. I think he slipped in this draft, um, but I had to take him for the value. I think Doug would like to work with this guy. I think there's a lot of things that he can do that Doug would like to, to basically coach up and develop. So James Morgan is our sixth round pick, and that completes the Eagles mock draft 2.0 to review. In the first round, we trade back to 28. We get an extra fourth round pick. We take Denzel Mims. Then in the second round, we take that fourth round pick we got from Baltimore, and we take one of our three fourth round picks. We move up to 34, take Brandon Ayuk. In the third round, we get a steal because I don't think this guy would ever be on the board, but in this simulation, he was. And we get center Matt Hennessy. In the fourth round, we take our, our, our guy, A.J. Dillon. We get our thunder for Miles Sanders Lightning. And then our four, uh, our second fourth round pick and our only fourth round pick left, after trading two of them to get up in second, we take Shaquille Quarterman, the linebacker from Miami. In the fifth round, I thought we got a steal in Lamar Jackson, the corner. I don't think he would ever be there in the fifth, but 
who the hell knows? You know, I almost took a defensive end here, but I had to go with him because of the value. Then in the sixth, we take a quarterback, James Morgan, and that completes this draft. I will try, and I can't promise, but I'm going to try, depending upon time, on doing a 32-team uh, mock draft before the draft. And I, of course, will be streaming that draft live Thursday, Friday. Um, I will be streaming live tomorrow, so um, I look forward to hearing your guys' thoughts on this. We'll talk about it in the stream tomorrow, hanging out, you know, pre-draft, talk, those kind of things. Tomorrow, Tuesday, probably 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Somewhere around there, I'll be streaming. Tell me your guys' thoughts. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that thing, that bell, so you don't miss any of it. And with that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat. <laughs>